Hello, Joseph Clay here with my day three of the guitar, Goodwood Festival of Racing. This podcast is sponsored by Bloodstock Evaluator. Another great day of racing. We have two races tipped, starting off with a three o'clock guitar, Richmond Stakes. It's a two-year-old stakes going six furlongs. So we're looking at a nice improving horse by Richard Fahey called Saber. Um, He's going up in trip to six furlongs. We feel he is improving. He has a turn of foot stride and speed that we've looked on uh, at Bloodstock Evaluators, a Voyer dosage tool that we feel can give us an understanding of the horse as well as combined with form to make an opinion. So we have today him uh, coming in front uh, the pace is set by Land Force of Aiden O'Brien's. Uh, he's had uh, quite a few races already. We feel like um, the other horses will be a bit fresher. And we have uh, Marie's Diamond coming in place and of Mark Johnson's, who's a really good horse, turn of foot, stride, and speed. He's already won a couple races as well. Um, but we feel that Sabre is going to be pressure over and improving over him. And then we have in th third, uh, for third place, a Neverland Rock of Richard Hannon. Uh, Frankie Tour de Tori back in the saddle again. Uh, he has loads of speed um, as well and stride to be in the frame. So we have Sabre to win, Marie Simon for place, Neverland Rock for place. Always back them each way and box them in your exact trifecta uh, bets. So we're going on to the Guitar Nassau Stakes uh, Group 1. It's nine furlongs. So we're looking at horses that have stamina but as well as have a certain amount of speed and they're too, uh, they, they have some speed, so not to be too much of a staying type of horse. So uh, we have um, Ferocious of Michael Stouts. He's he is a fresh horse. Uh, he's going to be coming into it really well, as well as having a Frankie Dutori back in the saddle riding him. Um, he's going to really Frankie's going to be able to know judge the pace of the race and be there uh, to win the race, we feel, over Rhododendron of Aidan O'Brien's uh, for place. And um, we have also uh, Wild Illusion uh, coming in for uh, place as well as stride, speed, and stamina, a very consistent horse. feel like that she'll be there um, in the frame in the end. I know that Urban Fox is a talented horse as well. I mean, I think, you know, obviously she, you can't not have her uh, out of it, but we just feel like those three other ones are going to be over her in the race. So, again, we have uh, Voracious to win, Rhododendron to place, while Illusion to place. Uh, over Urban Fox. Good luck and have a great day. Thank you.